Hello everybody, good morning. It's Tuesday. I'm very excited. Um, sorry about that. I just want to shut my mouse off so it doesn't lose its battery. Um, I'm happy that you're all here. Thank you so much. I haven't been able to get to my comments. I have been so, 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 so busy with my collaboration and some other things that I just want to bring you. My head is just squirreling everywhere. I've got so much inspiration. I'm so glad. I don't know um, if you're new to my channel or if you haven't seen this yet or haven't seen this video yet, I'd like to kind of start off with this. It has been a lifesaver. You do not have to make it this fancy. I just did because I was playing with my sari because it was new and I just wanted to play with it. But I had made myself a notebook and it's removable like my other notebooks. They're always removable because, you know, I like to save them and possibly use the cover or have this be an insert page. Obviously, it wouldn't be like that if it was an insert page to my journal. But if it was in my journal, this is how I would make it. And then I'd put the notebook inside and then the person receiving it or myself, I can remove it and have... This would be obviously blank, and um, you know, I'd have a little notepad. But I have been keeping all my notes to all of you know the collaborators in the um, hashtag How Boho Can You Go? And it has been a lifesaver. So if you are following along with the How Boho Can You Go, I highly suggest you get a notebook because these people that have been up so far. Um, I have not watched Suzanne's yet, and I have not watched Eva's yet, but I have watched everybody else's so far. I am on on Thursday, so today will be my last video for a couple of days, um, so that I can get everything ready for the collaboration, you know, for my turn. Um, my turn was supposed to be on the 26th, but... Dave had some things to do, so we kind of switched things around a little bit. So, um, and I had to change up a few things, um, because so far, one of the things that I was going to do was already done in the collaboration, and we're only on day five, so it's okay. It's, it's, it's fine. Sometimes that happens, so, um, anyway, I just, you know, kind of played and, you know, made this, but it's keeping me on track. It's giving me so many ideas for, um, you know, each person that I watch, I write down different things like measurements and, you know, um, what I thought of the video and why I should go back and watch it, um, things like that. Uh, Angela Kerr's, I mean, I just wrote fantastic, saved, great ideas, perfect instructions. I mean, you know, I, there was not really much I could do as far as, you know, that was concerned. So anyway, I highly recommend a notebook. This collaboration is absolutely fantastic. I won't spoil it if you haven't watched it all. And then over here, I haven't checked off yet what I've watched and what I haven't, which is typically what I will do. I've always kept this on a piece of cardstock, you know, just a uh, cereal box, and kept it on my desk, clipped up here on my left side. I have a little place where I can clip my calendar. And, um, but it's off to the left and I, I like having this on my desk. So let me just grab a pencil real quick so I can check off the people that I've already watched. And that way I know what I'm doing here. So I still have to watch Eva and Suzanne. I know R Rose is switching up, I believe with Andrea, but I think Andrea is still doing hers. On the 17th I think she's just filling in with Rose until Rose Rose has some things to do at work and then me and then um, Mahaja she, Mahajta is after me and then uniquely Ella and then Rach and then you know um, 
Kate at Pixie, Duck, at Pixie Designs. I mean, it, it, there's just so many. And the good thing is, is I'll be able to get so much inspiration from them for my continued journal. Like I've started it, I've got one signature done, um, but it needs some additions, obviously, and a cover and think, well, I have the cover in mind, but um, I always kind of design my cover first or at least sketch it. Um, but it will likely change because these people have really given me a lot of inspiration. So I highly suggest a notebook. It doesn't have to be like this. It can be like my notebook that I keep, which is this one. Somebody had gifted this to me a long time ago. It says Cheryl on it. And um, I keep all of my notes in here. Like, for example, um, uh... Like I have uh, the Ladies Monthly Museum 1807 book pages. Uh, I mean, it's a book. And so I've been playing with these pages um, and, you know, kind of putting them in paper cameo, different things that I've wanted to work on for that. Um, Dust of Roses, different things that she's... Um, ideas that she's given me, Ruby and Pearl, different ideas that she's given me, what videos, um, you know, what papers I have of hers, what I need. So yeah, I mean, just keep yourself a notebook, a jewel design. I mean, all, Sam Poole, uh, Rachel Bella Crafts, Boho Love, these are people I follow pretty frequently. Um, uh, Andrea, Angela Kerr, Angela Kerr, <laughs> so many Angela Kerrs. Um, but yeah, so keep yourself a notebook. It's so handy. It's just so handy, especially when you're doing things. Um, or if you need some inspiration, you can go back into your notebook. And, you know, this is my third, third? Yeah, I have three full notebooks. My collaborations are all in separate notebooks so that I can refer back to them. And then the 100 Day Projects I've been following with um, Rage and Bella Crafts and um, Marnell at um, Marnell at um, Mimi's Keepsake. I have been following both of them for the 100 Day Project. So you can only imagine what my notebooks and my 12 by 12 boxes look like. I have one for Rich and Bella, two full of others, and um, I have a separate notebook for each one. So that's really kept me organized and given me a lot of inspiration. And I will keep those. Fortunately, I have a closet where I can keep those 12 by 12 boxes. I used to keep an inspiration book, but that just wasn't working anymore because I, you know, I would do things on just plain copy paper and, um, you know, keep my designs in a, um, in a book, which I made out of, it was an old design book. It was, it's like 12 tall by probably nine wide. And I gutted it and I put a three ring by, you know, three rings on it so that the pages would turn easily. And I would use the pages as pretty much my background pages, if you will. Um, I would glue them together if they needed to be, but they were pretty sturdy pages. And then I would glue the things on, but that wasn't really working for me because I would want to take them off so that I could take them apart or what have you. Even though they had notes beside them, sometimes I'd have to take them off because I would figure, you know, I'd have to try and figure out the folds and things like that. So I revamped it. And now things sit in a 12 by 12 um, they like scrapbook type, um, boxes. Um, if I can show you one. I'll keep my projects in them. Sorry. Oh, I'm trying to grab this one. This one is a project box that I keep all of the things I want to use. Oops, I am so sorry. This is an example. These are things I have been literally... Oh, I am so sorry. I just hit you. These are things I've been keeping in here. Items I've made, you know, when I've had an opportunity. But this is everything to do with my little golden book. Which, 
is getting out of control. I've put it away <laughs> because I'm going to have way too much for that book. So anyway, that's just an example of something you don't have to do. But, you know, it's really kind of, I don't know, I just thought it was important to mention. I just dropped two things out of that and I'll have to put them away um, back in the box. So I don't lose them. And then like any ribbons I have and things like that that I need for a project, that will go into that box. I actually just pulled this when I was going through my stash and I thought, oh, that will go good with my little golden book. And I'm like, Cheryl, stop. You know, anyway, keep a notebook. So today we're going to work on our little journal that we're making, our mini journal. And yesterday... I, after I finished doing this, I thought, wait a minute, I went to my files, and sure enough, I had printed already, and I'm silly, I've already cut up all the pieces, but if you belong to Angela Kerr's um, Facebook group, um, you will find in the files all of her free digitals that she has given um, as gifts for certain occasions and different times. Um, you'll find those kits. So just go to files um, if you belong to the group and download them. If you've already got them downloaded, print them because I'm going to be using those. This is going to be an entirely, um, it's going to be a little ec eclectic because not everything, I mean, the way she designs and the way she creates, this is from a completely different kit very long time ago. I can't remember what month and I can't remember what kit, but I mean, you don't know that that's from a different kit, you know? So um, even things like this, this was a collage sheet that I decided I'm gonna cut, I printed it on both sides by accident. Of course, you know, me. I've got to stop doing that. I've really got to pay attention. But in this case, it was good because I was able to get a lot of ephemera for, from this collage sheet. You know, it was a full collage sheet, but I've cut it up. And depending on which side, you know, I can use this side. I can use this side. You know, they make great tags, what have you. So, um, and even this, this does not go with this particular kit that she gifted but she's gifted I, the only one I did not pull was the Christmas kit because I already made something out of that I do have that already made in my Angela Kerr freebie folder <laughs> in my filing cabinet it's crazy I know I'm crazy but that's how I am but if you have a file in your computer um any freebies that she's given, I'll be using in this journal because I decided that this journal is going to include all of her freebies because I made a December journal, a December daily from one of her kits that she gave at Christmas time last year. And um, I'm not kidding. It took me 15 minutes. It's, it's delightful. I love it. It's my favorite. It's just gorgeous. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. And I did not use one thing other than some tea stain paper and what she gave in that kit. Oh, I'm sorry. I did use some of her Christmas sentiments, but I have all of her sentiments. I highly recommend those, by the way, because you can use them in any kit for any reason, any season. They're just perfect sentiments. And they come plain or they come decorated to kind of match the kit. Oh, the other thing I decided I was going to do is I'm going to make a pouch like I did for my mini journal, like this one. I'm going to choose one of her pouches from her pouch kit, and that's what this journal is going to go into. So it'll be a series. Um, like I said, I'm not going to film tomorrow because I really want to get myself set up and all set to film because I have to put my video up on Thursday and I'm not going to be home. So I'm going to have to put it up at like 1 a.m. So that people have that ready to watch when they get up wherever they are in the world. So anyway, if you haven't seen this already, this is just a little, um, just a little, it's a mini one. They come in full size and they come in all of her kits that she's designed. She has made these 
little pouches for. This is a mini one because I printed it at 50% so that I could fit in, for those of you who are, who are new here, um, I made myself a little um, sort of, um, oh, I don't even know, remember what I called this. What did I call it? Oh, it's a matchbook journal. So yeah, it folds up like this. It, it And she's adorable. I just absolutely adore her. She's just my favorite. And I keep her right here on my desk for inspiration. And, you know, just because I love it. I just adore her. And um, as you can see, you can fit many things in there. You know, you could fit a, a gift card. You could, oh, so many things you can do with this. So anyway, it's just... And, you know, it, for any of you that have been following me, you know how much I love anything mini. So, and I'm telling you, these take about 15 minutes to create. So, um, I am currently designing one um, by printing the kit. I haven't decided which one yet. It may go for this one because the bigger ones, this will fit into. I may make it out of fabric by printing this kit on fabric. So, um, and I can show you how to do that. I will be doing doilies, printing on doilies, printing on tissue paper, and printing on fabrics. I'll be doing a three-day series. So one day we'll be printing on doilies and piano paper. Another day we'll be printing on tissue paper and tracing paper. And another day, and I'll be giving you ideas as to how, what to use those items for. And then on another day, um, I can't remember what we're going to, oh, fabric. I'll show you how I print on fabric. Um, it's, you know, I mean, everybody, a lot of people already know, but I have my way of doing it and that might be helpful to you. Okay, let's get started before we get too far behind. So today, the only thing I've done with this journal thus far is um, I have I did put some lace, of course, <laughs> um, when I was going through my stash to do my project. I found this antique lace. I had just enough to do both edges, so I used it. And I just love it. So um, this is going to be my little you know, summer holiday type um, journal. Now, this is another page that came from one of her other kits, and I'm so sorry I don't have the names of the kits or the dates that they were put out, but if you go to her Facebook group in her files, um, or for those of you who are already in her Facebook group, which I believe all of my followers are, and if you aren't, I'll send you an invite, um, or you can just go over and, you know, join um, by visiting um, Friends of Angela Card Designs. I believe that's the name of the Facebook group. Anyway, I'll leave that in the information below. Um, so anyway, I've used everything in here so far as freebies. Okay, these are all, this was one sheet, but some of them were kits. Um, I don't remember if any of them matched. This one obviously was from this kit that we're using. This kit we're using, this kit we're using. This was from a different one. It was from the same one as this one. And so, yeah, and then I cut up all the elements. And, you know, I'll probably be adding some tea stain paper. She always she also has some um, great background pages that I may be pulling from one of her kits. I'm trying very hard not to because I want this to be all of her freebies in one journal. Okay? Okay. All right, so let's begin. So the only thing I've done is I've, you know, done a few pages and um, and put some lace on. That's all I've done. And I haven't tied in my, my, my pages yet, okay? I'm hoping it just is one um, because I don't believe I have enough room to do two signatures. So it'll end up being one signature. So far, I have got one two, three, four, five, six pages, okay? And I have double-sided them, okay? So 
you know, obviously it needs some tea stain paper, maybe some avocado if you have it. If you don't, tea stain or coffee stains better. I use tea stain because I like the, I can control the, uh, how dark it gets. Because what I'll do is I will brush my tea on it. And then wait a few minutes, you know, put those outside in the sun, wait for them to dry, flip them, not dry completely, but dry enough, flip the page and brush it on. Um, oh, I have my brush right here. This is what I use. I use this paintbrush. It's just a paintbrush from the hardware store. And then, you know, I dip it in and then I brush my paper because I can control it better. And in this particular journal, I think the lighter the tea stain paper, the better. And then we can stencil on some of the pages. So if you don't have this kit, you can use tea stain paper or white paper and stencil. You know, or use chalks or anything like that. Okay, I'll stop talking. <laughs> All right, so what I thought I would do today is I thought about some things we can put in the journal, just a few little kind of fun items. So I went through and found some things that inspired me to create for this particular journal. I'll give you all the measurements and how to make them, okay? What does this go to? Oh, this goes to this. I just unclipped it from there. And this does too. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Some of them are very simple, no-brainer. This one I've done on video already. I will do it again if you want me to, um, if you haven't seen this video, but all it is is an envelope. Sorry. Yes, that's right. If you can see this, it's an envelope. And that's the way the, en that's the, way the envelope comes. When you get your envelope, that's the back of it. You want to cut it this way, okay? And then you want to take it, turn it, take it to this point on your cutter, cut it down this way. That's all you have to do. And then we'll do the rest on video, okay? So that's what that will be. Because I have a lot of new people, and you may not have seen this video, and I don't want to send you back. Look, this is the only piece of that lace I have left so sad. It's okay. I have to go through my laces because I might have a little bit more. I'm, 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 my, my, my poor laces. I've made such a mess of them. But anyway, it's okay. So what we're going to start with is we'll start with the, it's not complicated at all, but it's different. So what we're going to make, what we're going to need I used a six by six piece of paper, but I had a five by five scrap. As long as it's square, you can use any size you want. Eight by eight, six by six, five by five, four by four. The bigger the square, the bigger, and I'll show you what we're going to make. It's going to end up like this. Sorry. What you're going to do is you're going to be able to flip it open and the person can write in here. And then this can either get paper clipped into your journal or it could go inside a pocket. Okay, so and I made all the lines so that I can show you. Okay, and then you just flip it open and that can be a little writing spot. So let me show you how I do that. So simple. All you're going to do is it's just folds. There's no, there is some gluing, but this part is just folds. So what you're going to do is, am I, am I in frame? I'm in frame. I have to kind of look above because my camera's backwards. All right, well, it's upside down. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so what I do is I kind of line it up here because I want my edges. This is, this has to be precise. So I'm gonna fold it up to, like this. And I'll do it on the white side so that I can show you with a pencil. So I'm gonna fold it this way and I'm gonna crease it. Now I'm gonna make sure that those are folded up good before I give it a, you know, a good bone fold. How long have I been chatting? Oh my goodness. All right, so you could just fast forward through all of that. And then we're gonna fold it up this way. So 
So now we know that everything is even, right? So then, so now we've got a fold this way and a fold this way, and it's a square. This is five by five. Then you're gonna flip it like this and put your corner here and your corner here, and you're going to, this is the easiest way I do it, okay? And I learned this from, oh my, I know it was G-Car, but it was about three years ago, if I can remember from my notes correctly. It goes like this, it goes like this, okay? And then you want to take it and turn it, make sure it's here and here. This is the easiest way I can do it. Take your point, make sure it's lined up good. These are the cutest things. And like I said, the bigger you, you know, the bigger square you use, I typically, if I'm gonna put it in a regular size journal, I'll do an eight by eight. I may not have cut this very straight, but it was a scrap and I had it, so. And you can use your fingernail. You don't have to use, you know, your bone folder. But I just like everything to be nice and crisp so I can see everything. So once you've got it all folded, go over it one more time with your bone folder. Okay. Where am I? Okay. I'm just going over all my, you know, folds with my bone folder because that way I can see everything and I'll take a pencil and I'll go over so you can see because I know that it's very bright. It's early morning. I've already been for my walk with my dog. So that was nice. We took a lot of pit stops. I had a lot of pictures to take. So many beautiful flowers. I'm very fortunate to live here. Okay, so let me just get a pencil so I can show you um, where's my pencil? This way I can show you um, the lines. You can see them better. So you're going to have a fold, oops, a fold here. I don't mean to be like kindergarten, but sometimes with folding, it can get kind of confusing, you know? And you know what? I was watching Mimi's keepsake yesterday. She did, she finished the 100 day project. Rach is almost there. I followed both of them. So you can only imagine what my notebooks and my <laughs> and my inspiration boxes look like. Thank God we have a walk-in pantry. It's very organized though. And we don't need the whole pantry. It's the size of a nursery. So that's what you're gonna end up with. Those are your folds. You've got a fold here. You've got a fold here. You've got a fold here and you've got a fold here. So now what you're going to do is, depending on what size, you know, what size, you, what side you want to be on your front or your back, you're going to simply fold it, fold these two pieces like in, right? In that way. And then you're going to, Get that in there. Just do that. And there you go. That's it. Did you see what I did? I took these two corners, or you can take the other two corners, it doesn't matter. And you wanna fold them in like this. And then you wanna take this, and this, and you've got it. So now, I mean, I've already made my pencil marks inside, but that's okay, you can erase them. 
you know, if it will help you to do pencil, do it lighter. I did it darker so you could see. And then what you do is you, the person or you can open it up and you've got all this writing space. Okay. That's just darling. I love it. And it will fit so well in this journal because it's small. You know, I was trying to think of everything we could do that was small enough to fit in our five by whatever seven journal. So that's that. So what I've done is I already made one of these. So I'm going to just grab it and show you the next step so that we're not here all day. So the next step is you want to cut. Now this is eight by eight. So I needed two four by four squares, one for the front and one for the back. And these are scraps, so I just use these. And actually, this is going to go on the front. It doesn't matter. And this is going to go on the back. And I'll show you why. So let me just glue those down. You can use a glue stick. But like I, you know, when you're on video, you use the glue that's best and dries fastest for you. And glue stick is not one of them when you're videoing. So just make sure that that's there. And ink your edges if you want. I'm not going to do that, obviously, on video. Because I've already chatted 30 minutes. <laughs> so there's the top. Okay. Oops. Let me just make sure that's on there square. Now I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to do the same thing to the back. These are so cute. And go so well in a pocket or paper clip. You know, maybe with a double-sided paper clip on a page. I haven't decided yet what we're going to do with it, but or what I'm going to do with it. Um, but anyway, it's just something you can make. And then you just simply glue that there. And then if you want, you could take a sticker. You could take one of the elements. You could take anything. You could take nothing at all. I think that I will pull something to put on the front of mine. I just don't know what yet. Just to kind of jazz it up a little bit and have maybe a little tuck spot here. So there's a little secret note in there. I could put a little piece of paper in there. That would be a good idea. I'm thinking off the top of my head, people. So I'm just going to glue along here because I want this to be a little tuck spot along here but I'm not going to glue the top because it will be easier to get things in and out if I don't I'm just going to glue this along the edge now you can put an image in the in the front I'm just you know kind of moving along here quickly and there you go and then you could take another scrap and simply fold this up like this right and then fold this corner. I, again, something I just thought of. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then you could take this corner, okay, and kind of match it up with there. Okay, that's all I did. I folded it up. I folded these two so that they would match here and here. Okay, and you could put a piece of washi there or whatever if you want, and then fold it down like this. Okay, so it looks like a little envelope, and you can tuck it right inside there. So then you pull it out of your pocket, and you have, what did I do wrong? Oh, no. I glued that to the edge. Sorry, sorry, I just glued that to the edge. It's okay. There we go. I got some glue on there when I glued that down. So now just turn it over. Make sure everything is glued down the way you want it. I probably should have decorated this way, but if I did, then you would have been confused. Or maybe. <laughs> I know I would have been. I would have been like, okay, rewind. Take notes. <laughs> so there you go. So then you just fold it back up. And you can either, like I said, Clip it or put it in a pocket and then open it up. And even though I've got this on the inside, which 
you know, I just wanted to show you because I had the white side and I thought it would be easier for you to follow. But you can still absolutely write on this, you know. Dear Mary. Okay, see? You can still see that, and that's just pencil. So, I'll erase it now because I'll forget, and I'll, I'll open it up, and I'll be like, who am I sending this to? Sorry about that. Oh, dear. Sorry. I have too many things on my desk. You don't even want to see my craft room. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve inks next to me for something I have to do after this. <laughs> Not on video. Because I can't decide which color ink. So I pulled them all. And I pulled my chalks. <laughs> it's crazy. When I'm designing, I'm just going to get this glue off because it's dry. You can use an eraser if you're in the middle of something. There you go. How simple is that? You know those things we used to make when we were little? You know the little... I want to make one of those too. I forget what we used to call them, but they used to have little things on the inside that would tell us different things. There you go. How cute, right? Okay, next. Okay, we'll put this aside. What's next? Six by six, one, three by three, two. Okay, that was for that. All right, the next thing is simple. We're going to make this. Now, I've already put a couple of pockets in it, so we won't do that part. Or yes, we will. I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to need is... Um, Let's pull a scrap. Well, this isn't a good one because it's not double-sided. Mm. This one is. So this will work. I like to have double-sided, as you can see. But you don't have to because you could decorate each piece. Okay? You know. But I had it. It was double-sided, so I used this. All you're going to do... That won't work. All you're going to do is take your ruler, take a scoring tool, or your, yeah, a scoring tool. Your scoreboard probably won't work because this has to be at a diagonal. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to place this somewhere, and this has been done a gazillion times, so you probably already know how to do this. So this is just a regular eight and a half by 11. So I am going to just put my ruler at kind of an angle like this. And then I'm gonna, I'm going to kind of move it up about, hmm, let's see, we'll go like this. Okay, so just put it at an angle. I have mine, I'll tell you, just in case you wanna know. I have one, two inches on this side, and you, it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, okay? So two inches on this side, four inches on this side. That's how I have it angled. But you can angle it any way you want. You know, if you go up like this, then this is going to be taller than this. So just figure out the size journal you're putting it in. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to go two, what did I say? Two and four, I think I said. Yeah, two and, and four. And then what I want to do is take my score tool and score it. Oops. Without moving your ruler. Keep your ruler straight and just score it down like this. Give it a good score. And then what I do, because I can't see real well, I'm sure you can. You can either use a pencil 
which is what I do, or you could fold it like this, and then you would have, you know, you'd have where your score line is, because for me, it's very difficult for me to see that score line right now. So I'm just gonna take my pencil real quick. I'm just gonna make a light pencil mark because I have to cut this and I wanna cut it straight. Did I cut that right? Did I make a pencil line? It's hard to tell. There it is. Now what you're going to do is take your scissors. These are fun and you can do so many things with these. You can do them on cardstock and make little booklets. I've done them, I've, I've, I've done this for years. Ever since I've been crafting, ever since I learned this, I have made these for so many different projects. You can even make them longer um, and make several. Um, I'll show you. Hold on. So cut evenly along that line or as evenly as you can. And there you go. But score it first and then draw your line. Or score it and then just cut your line. I just scored it and put a pencil because that's the best way for me to do it. Now you have two pieces. Which is good because you can use both pieces. And I'll show you how to fold it. So now you're going to flip it over. You're going to bring this about... Let's see. You're going to bring it about... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it wasn't 11 and a half, but it's okay. So you want to bring it to about the, it's 10. So I'm going to bring it to about halfway. So just to keep, to give you, okay, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go about four and a half. No, I'll, I'll, I'll go to five. So I have five here. Now line it up at the bottom, not at the top. Am I in frame? Line it up at the bottom and press there. And then press there, okay? Now you wanna flip it over and keeping this level, you wanna come back and you want to find that edge, keep it level at the bottom. See, I'm keeping it level at the bottom, not paying attention to the top. And fold. And then take this piece and keep it level at the bottom. and fold and what you have now is this okay I'm actually gonna just fold this over a little bit more like that and then what I can do is I mean, you could do anything. You could trim this off. I'm not going to, because I'm going to use that as a little tuck spot. You know, and you can, it, you know, it just depends on where you're going to fold it. Okay. And you could use file folder or cardstock for this and make this out a little booklet. If you wanted to make it longer, you could take your next piece, you know, and attach it to here. No, where, where we where, No, you'd take another one of these the same way and attach it here, and then you'd have even a longer booklet. Okay, but we're not going to do that. And I'm just going to simply take this, and I am going to just tuck that in just a little bit. But I'm going to leave it. I'll either glue that down, or leave it as a little tuck, or perhaps I'll use it. No, I won't use it as a closure. Let me just do this evenly. Well, it doesn't matter. There we go. So now you have this adorable little fold. You can either stick in a pocket, 
paper clip to anything. I mean, you could do anything. Sky's the limit. Now, if you want to make pockets, you take this piece. Sorry, it would actually go like this. You're going to take this piece to make a pocket. Well, let me see where I want to put this pocket. I think I'll put it here. So I'm going to use my scrap and I have to go this way actually. So I'm going to simply, my butterflies are upside down. See, that's the problem with, but it's okay. I can, I can remedy that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this in here like so because it can't come up against the fold anyway. I'm just going to have to do it this way, folks. I'm sorry. Because otherwise, so what you want to do is take your scrap and you're going to make your little pockets this way. Okay. So you just put this here, but don't go right up against the fold. Make sure it's lined up there. And then all you're going to do is take your pencil here and here. Take your ruler like this and fold it and stir it. And now you've got your first pocket, okay? And then you just take your glue and we will glue this here like so and I'll glue it here. But I'm not going to glue the other side because I want things to get in and out easily. You can also take your punch and do a little notch so that you know that, or the person knows that there's a little pocket there. I have to empty my little thing. So you could do this, or you don't have to. And you can ink your edges. And that way, it would be pretty. Because I'm using the same paper, so I would definitely decorate that pocket with something. So I'm not going to close this up because it would be easier for me anyway and for a lot of people I know to get things in and out of that pocket. So for example, if I were to put this in here, which I'd have to cut it down a little smidge maybe, the glue's still wet. So the verdict is still out. But see how easy that is? And I won't do every page, but you get the point. And you can put pockets on this side, pocket here. You can put a piece of tea, tea stain paper here. I wouldn't have to because I can still write on that. Sorry, spelling it wrong. I'm doing it the right way, but not spelling it the right way. So I will put um, hello. And see, that's just with pencil. So I can still write on that. And then... You could take a piece of ribbon and you could just make it pretty by simply taking a little piece of ribbon. I'm thinking off the top of my head today. <laughs> and thank goodness things are right there in my little dish. That's why you should keep things on your desk when you're creating. But to definitely put it away at the end of the day. Otherwise, you will not want to craft. See? See? Isn't that sweet? And will look so adorable inside our journal in a pocket. Okay, so that's that. And we'll put this over here. And then the last thing we're going to do for this journal for today is make one more item to put in our journal. And we may add others as we go along, but the next part will be decorating our pages. So you'll need some tea stain paper or background paper, um, you know, to add. Because I've got enough, you know, book page, anything like that. So now for this, I made this. I just took that file folder from yesterday. If you haven't watched that video, you can go back. I took that file folder. All I did was I eyeballed it, actually. But I'll give you measurements. Oh, pretty good. I really eyeballed this. I did not measure it, but it's right on. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I folded it up two inches to give myself a little pocket. And then 
I took another another piece and put it in there so I could have a double pocket. Again, something you could glue this into your book, right, after it's decorated or not. And you could put this into your book, glue up these sides, and you'd have a tag inside a pocket. Okay? And I'll show you how quickly that, that comes about. That goes there. So you just, the only thing you want to make sure is that this piece is, that this piece is narrower than this piece. So if this piece is one, two, three, four by one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this piece was so long and I didn't want to cut it down because, you know, it was the last piece I had left of that strip. So I only folded that up an inch. So then I just take my, I use a gift card um, to do my edges. So if I need, you know, a tag that has a long edge, I'll use this side. And if I have a tag that has a long edge, a short edge, I use that side, okay? This is actually, I don't know what card, but it doesn't matter. You can use anything. So then what I do, and you can use a punch if you want. This is just easier for me because it's right here on my desk with my tools. So then I do that, flip it over. I do this, flip it over. I take my punch, I make a little notch. And this I probably shouldn't because it's so short, but I'm going to anyway. And then the same thing with this. I'm going to use my short side because it's a tiny tag. Make sure it's lined up. Take it, snip it, take it, turn it over, and snip it. I know that you've all done this before, but the things we're going to put inside our mini journal. And this is simply going to slide in here. And I will likely stitch around this after I decorate it. Okay? Or maybe before I decorate it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And that's it. And that's it for today. Already? And you could even do something like this. You could do... You could do a tag here. Take this here. Right? Or maybe decorate the tag with just something like that. But you could have a journal card. A tag it would be great great layer and then what you could do is just take your punch I love this one I got this on Amazon and I just love it I love this punch see it makes that instead of a hole now you could just use a hole I do use holes and I do use reinforcers instead of the grommets but these really look cute so what I would do then is that would fit inside there. I would definitely put a ribbon or something there. I put a ribbon here. I'd have this here. And then I might, I don't know. I love layers. So I could do something like, let's see if I can find something small real quick. And then I'll let you go for today. I know this is long. I could add something like this okay so then this would be here well that's kind of too tall don't do that well you can <laughs> I just don't want to let's find something smaller well that's a little cute little note card you know and it's got some script on it so I could put I could do this and I could do this no what I do is probably do something like this something like this and then I'd have my tag decorated. I'd have a little ribbon here and a little ribbon here. Or maybe I wouldn't, I probably would not put a tag. I probably wouldn't punch this. I wouldn't punch this. I'd just punch this and put a ribbon here. No punch on this one. Cause that's just gonna go down into my journal. It doesn't need two ribbons, you know? So yeah, I would just punch this one. And this doesn't bother me because I can just make a tag out of this. Cause this is just my example. I already have mine made right here. See, reason I don't use what I have in my examples. <laughs> okay, 
So that's it for today. I'm going to put this back in my toolbox, which is right here. And that way I have it. And put my scissors away. I'm all cleaned up. So I hope you enjoyed that today. Let's see what we made. We made, this is our example. This is how it came out. We made a tag and a, well, it's a double tag with a little card, and no card inside. And I would back that. I might even decorate this up. I might do some sort of collage work with that because I really love that. And that's just part of a collage that Angela had, to, you know, had designed. So, yeah, so there's that. We did this, this. Oh, and then I showed you how to cut up the envelope. And I already had this pink one cut up but didn't use it because what I was using was pink. But if you have a vintage pink envelope in your stash, I'd grab it, or blue, or purple. This is from Hallmark, God knows when. I just have a lot of envelopes. But I thought, I've already cut this up for an example I did in a video once and didn't end up using the pink, I used the white one. So if you have a colored one you'd like to use, either violet or pink or yellow or gold or any color, it would be easier probably to decorate, okay? So that's what we did today. And where's our journal? Oh, wait a minute, we did this. Wow, we did get a lot done. Well, it's probably been an hour, but that's okay. I really enjoy visiting with you. I hope you crafted along with me. And, um, you know, you could slow the video down. You could bypass, you know, the whole beginning. I'm sorry, I kind of squirreled off in that direction. Um, but I did. So I apologize for that. And um, until next time, which will be probably not till Friday or Saturday, depending on how things go on Thursday with my eyes, which I don't think will be anything but an appointment and checkup and some blood work and make sure everything's all set. Okay? So until next time, be well, be kind, because you never, ever know what somebody else might be going through. And um, God bless y'all. Love you. Bye-bye.